So in this lesson, we're going to be covering market swings. And this is essentially what has been wiping out many investors from the cryptocurrency market. And they're almost losing their entire account before they've even started. Now, a perfect example to start with is actually FUSD or any F pair for that matter. Now, what the main fundamental of this lesson is, is how to actually spot these scenarios and avoid them in the future and also when they're happening in real time. Now, these kind of spikes are way more manipulative than the Forex market. And we can start off immediately by going to this example in the middle of May. If we zoom in, if you had a long entry during this period of time, you would have hit a key resistance level. The price was extremely manipulated down from almost $95 to essentially $26. Now this happened in what I believe a matter of seconds. You can actually see in an hourly time frame, this went all the way down and straight back up within two hours. Now this would have wiped out many, many investors because fear would have struck them. They would have believed this is the end of Ethereum, the investment is about to crash and the market is potentially about to go bust. Now this is how we do not approach the market and instead we have to go into this like professional investors. We have to already know what we're in for. If we're investing without being aware of these kind of spikes and manipulations, we'll be panicking every single time price spikes the other way. And the problem is with crypto, they're not just spikes for a few pips or a few dollars. We're talking essentially tens to hundreds of dollars in a matter of seconds. So again, we'll find many examples here where people would have been suckered in to just selling. So we can see here a huge spike down, completely unnecessary. And the problem is during the early stages of a crypto before they actually boom, the market manipulators draw the price down as much as possible so they can accumulate as many coins as possible before the next rise. And you will notice a pattern that a lot of these spikes do happen before further highs are made. What you can see here is we've made new highs, new highs we've spiked completely through completely invalidated all of our current scenarios and technical analysis. We've spiked all the way down to $110. This happened from $143. Now, as you can see, this kind of drop would really scare you as an investor if you didn't know what was happening. So we can show some more examples here. Manipulation, manipulation, more manipulation. And again, this was actually a bearish manipulation we're seeing this reverse all the way back up to current price. This would have actually been a new higher low. Again, straight back down, completely obliterated any fundamental and technical analysis you would have had. We continue down, make our way back to the daily, because this isn't just on the shorter time frames. This is in fact happening on the daily time frame as well. So we can take a nice look here. We even currently have a huge spike today. This is another perfect example. Many people would have entered long around here or the breach of the resistance level only for price to close all the way back down and consolidate for weeks, even drop in to almost 60% the value of where they originally entered. So when we go back to the high trend, we go up, we retest almost $400, we come down, we're now continuing upwards. We currently have a huge bullish candle today. Now for all we know, this could close all the way back down within the previous day's trading range. We cannot go on assumptions and bearish and bullish spikes. So we can show another example of an extremely manipulated and spike worthy crypto, and that is Ripple. This is manipulation galore, guys, and you have to watch out for this stuff and do not let it get to you. Again, another spike here. Many people would have panic sold only for the price to spike right back up again if you have your fundamentals and technicals set correctly, especially how we've told you in these lessons, you will notice once you've completed the technical analysis lesson and chapter, you will notice how I've drawn my lines. And one thing that will really stick with you is when these manipulative spikes happen, they are going to premeditated levels that you will already have set. So this will completely eradicate the fear from your investment. For example here, we had the huge spike down to almost 12, well, actually lower than 12 cents for a price only to follow straight back to 32 cents just a few days later. 
And it's stuff like this which is scaring investors into selling their money. There's no real tactic or strategy behind this on how to deal with this besides coping psychologically and having the correct technicals in play. And with that, you'll be much safer, and much more comfortable with your investment. Again, another spike here as an example is this. We spiked all the way up, tested the trend line, only to close from 30 cents all the way back down to 24 and a half cents. So guys, just be careful with the stuff. Again, when this is happening in real time, it's very different. We currently have a huge rise and a nice retest of the counter trend today on XRP. For all we know, this could completely spike to 32 cents and just pull all the way back down. We really do not know what is going to happen on a daily basis right now. And the market is still too young. So when you're investing, just take a step back once you've placed your investments, once you've got your coins, once you've held, just forget about it. Don't always sit there staring at the charts all day. It will psychologically damage you and you'll just be constantly stuck staring at charts all day. Now that's it for this lesson. We're going to cover this further in later lessons. See you in the next lesson.